So, oh shit, okay. All right, so, hey everybody, it's your buddy Nekamore here. What? What do you mean? Hey everybody, it's your buddy Nekamore here. I'm pulling a webcam Nick today and using my cell phone because I lost, I, lo I lost the voice recorder. You know, the, the thing. <clears throat> anyway, so, today we are at Empire Games Expo. You can see behind me, people are setting up. I do this every video. Does it get old? Probably. Anyway, today I'm going to be asking the congoers one question. One quick question. What video game can you beat the quickest and how fast? Um, for me, currently, actually, uh, it happened fairly recently. I was doing a speed run of Minecraft Diamond Percent, where you obtain diamond in the fastest time possible, and I obtained a time of... Anyone? 1.72 seconds. Don't believe me? I'll prove it. Watch. This is going on a resume, I promise. Anyway, so that's the question today. Let's find some people to talk to. We're still setting up. I do this every time. Are you surprised yet? Let's go. I'm gonna say Star Fox 64 could probably beat it about an hour and a half, maybe. There's that like 100% or? Uh, 100% completion. I'm not sure how they measure all the way to the end to beat the end guy. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Because of the exploration glitch, I can beat it in around five minutes. I love that, dude. <laughs> they they actually banned that in speedrunning, but yeah. But yeah, I, I love showing I love showing that video to my friends, or like I love being able to do that. The how do you do it? Because there's several ways you can do it. You take damage in the, in Hyrule Castle, and then while you're while falling, you're saving Peach or uh, Peach Zelda, Jesus, I'm tired. So you save and quit while you're falling off of a ledge, and then when you take damage, you'll go in between layer one and layer two of the map. Very cool. And then you just run right up, zigzag up to Ganon. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, I speed run Mario Kart Wii quite a bit, and it takes me anywhere between 40, 45 minutes. I'm trying to work my time down, but yeah, I might get into sunshine a little bit. But. Cool. What category in Mario Kart? Uh, I usually do nitro tracks, skips. Uh, sometimes I'll do strategic items, but mostly it's balanced because I don't like cheating the game by getting triple mushrooms every time and behind six. <laughs> that makes sense. I uh, I saw I actually watched a cedar in a Mario Kart 8 we no, 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 Mario Kart Wii last night. It was a uh, some guy modded the 200 CC option to be 99,999 CC. Oh, was that a uh, Troy on YouTube? Yes. PWD 98. Yeah, that sounds right. I think that's it. Yeah, he was a big inspiration for me. Uh, I started watching him back when I was like 10. The community was really small back then, and he had a series called Break That Custom Track, and it kind of breathed life into the whole custom track community back then. And uh, there's actually been a lot of hacking going on, because uh, you know Nintendo shut down the servers for the Wii in 2014, so... Yeah, it's really nice to see that people still care about this game. CTGP still exists, you know, an online server alternative exists. You can. The time trial community is still really active, I think. Just a few hours ago, they uploaded another video to the Records channel, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, it's well, fantastic cool. to see an 11-year-old game still getting the attention it deserves. Oh, yeah. All right, well, thanks, Lola. Nice to meet you, man. You too. Well, I am a local podcaster here in the Capital Region, New York, for the podcast called Video Game Crosstalk. I push out an episode about once a month, and I bring out someone who works in the science and technology field, talk about what they do, and then we finish off the podcast with some gaming geekery talk. Very cool, very cool. What's a game... Oh, yeah, we talked about this a little bit before, but what's a game? What's a game that you? What's your favorite game to beat, and about how long does it take you? So this is an odd question for me because I am not the type of person who really beats games quickly. I was raised during the age of the golden age of RPGs, mm -hmm. so I've always played the epic fantasy games that take 60, 100, 200 plus <laughs> hours to beat. I mean, I've got my little man with me. Jacob, can you say hi? Hi, Jacob. Uh, hi, Jacob. <laughs> so, uh, right now I'm playing a lot of games where I can just kind of jump in and jump out real quick. So, unfortunately, I'm kind of a statistical outlier for this question. Unbelievable. Cancel the show. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> What's your favorite RPG, though? Favorite RPG of all time would be... Final Fantasy 3, because I'm an old man and that's what it said on the cartridge when I played it. Okay, so I was going to say 3 or 6. <laughs> Obviously, it's number 6 in the series. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, well, thank you. Thank uh, you. Take care, bud. High five. High five. 
Yes! <laughs> uh, Resident Evil for PlayStation 2, to play both characters, would be about six hours. Six hours for both campaigns? For both campaigns. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. Now that is, now that is very tricky, because in fact, I probably play like a lot of games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But let's see, my favorite game was probably to beat was probably like the original Kingdom Hearts, like for the PlayStation 2. Yeah. I remember beating it like in a, maybe like a few days, a couple of days. Mainly because, well, once I get into it, I just can't, <laughs> I just can't <laughs> stop. Do everything. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like once you once you hit like a point, it's just like, I don't want to stop. I want to keep going. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. How'd you feel about Kingdom Hearts 3? Um, for, I waited so long, like I remember playing like Kingdom Hearts 2 and then waiting for years and years. And when it finally came out, I gotta say it was worth it, it was worth the money. You think it? Okay. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, definitely. This looks like a good place to find some ingredient. You didn't want to punch Donald? <laughs> you didn't want to fucking kick him right in his balls? Oh, let, let's put it this way. There were moments where I wanted to hit Donald or just <laughs> mute him. But then when he did his thing and the Keyblade Graveyard, I'm like, all is forgiven. All, right, yeah. all is forgiven. Honestly, I came into Kingdom Hearts 3 asking myself a few questions. One, how the Keyblade Transmission is going to be. Two, is Donald actually going to cure me because I know he had that problem for... Donald, where are you at? Come on. Where are you? I have no, I have no HP, MP, sorry, MP whatsoever. If I help us all, heal me, please. Do something. <laughs> all right, Justin, thanks a lot, man. No problem, man. Take it easy. Yeah, honestly, my favorite game to be quickly is actually Kirby's Dream Land because it's, uh, it's pretty easy to pick up, and I got to play through it in one sitting so quickly. I could beat it in about 11 to 15 minutes, depending on my good days. Oh, wow, are you a speedrunner? Uh, not officially. That was, that was just something I did for fun before I knew it was a thing because the internet wasn't really sharing that yet. Right. Uh, so yeah, I just did that for fun because it's a pretty easy game to play. <laughs> cool. You should uh, you should uh, record it and submit a time. Yeah, why not? I mean, speedrun.com. Uh, speedrun.com, and then do uh, do all the GD coups. Why not? I've seen Kirby <laughs> on stage before. So. Yeah, I, um, I'm learning Kirby 64 100% right now. My time is a one hour 40 minutes, so it's I got a ways to go. All right. What's what's your goal? Uh, I want to get sub 130. But uh, yeah, I want, I want to try to get higher than 60th place. All right, well, good luck on cool. that. Thank you. Take care. The shirt does kind of give it away. A little bit. Halo, right? Uh, no, Mass Effect. Oh, right? I was so Mass close. Effect. Um, I really love playing the second one, Mass Effect 2. And I was always one of the 100% completion people. Mm -hmm. And it takes a little while sometimes. But when I had first got the game, I couldn't put it down, and in I think it was like three days, I played the whole game 100% like 30 hours. Wow, <laughs> that is quick. Because I just couldn't stop putting it down. And I just graduated college the first time, and I was being a bum, so I had time. Oh, absolutely, everyone does. I was too, for like a, like a month at least. Yeah, so I had time. What did you think of Andromeda? I actually never got it. I, I had heard enough about, about it there, I was just like, I didn't feel like it with how the third one had ended with a lot of people being unhappy about it. I just went ahead and told myself, you know what? The ending of Mass Effect 3, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell myself it's the indoctrination theory and like, I'll be happy with myself with that. But cool. when they wanted to go down a different story path for that Mass Effect universe, I was just like, no, I'm happy with mine. Nice. So, All right, well, thanks, Brian. Absolutely, thank you. I would say Legends of Dragoon, but I just play like here and there so I would say maybe like a week if I was really like trying to do it but you know I do just take my time like, like how like how how much time total through that that week uh probably like 40 hours 40 hours yeah okay. it's, not, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a PS1 game yeah if I'm just like running through it yeah I could do it in 40 hours I think. Nice, nice cool thanks Jim thank you appreciate it uh I beat Dishonored 1 in about like Six hours because I uh, I love the game. It's my favorite game ever created. Uh, I just love the aesthetic. I love the story of how betrayal and betrayal and betrayal and all the magic. Yeah. And um, that's yeah, that's why I love beating it quickly. I I will sit there and I will play that game over and over and over again until I get it exactly the way I want it. Nice, cool. Replayability is high. I'll repl I mean, for me at least. A normal person could probably go through and be like, ah, all right, this game is cool. I'm done with it. But I'm that way about Majora's Mask. I will oh, not I, stop playing. I love Majora's Mask. It's my favorite game of all time. Yeah. And that concludes this Congoers video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to everyone who answered the question for the video. And big thanks to the con staff for putting on such an excellent event. Uh, this was Empire Game Expo's first year, and it went down really, really well. At least I think so. Um, and I am really looking forward to RetroGameCon, so hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys there. But uh, in the meantime, you guys stay awesome, 
Don't do anything that we wouldn't do, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. High five!